Disturbing video of a cat being slammed against a wall at a local grooming salon is circulating on social media. Yeah, the incident allegedly happened back in May at Carolina Grooming, West Ashley. News 2's Deanne Roberts spoke with the cat's owner who just learned about the incident and the owner of the salon who explains why this video is just now being shared. I'm just sick to my stomach. Marsha Alfaro just now learning about her cat being plastered across social media. I mean, I can't wash it. I can't see my baby hurt. I can't. We're stopping the video here because moments later, Alfaro's cat, Muskie, is slammed to the ground while being groomed at Carolina Grooming in West Ashley. You can't do that. I said let him go. I spoke to the salon owner, Daryl Kornicke. He says he learned about the video today. Now, according to the timestamp, this all happened May 19, 2019. Kornicke says he stepped away from his business three years ago due to health issues, leaving it in a manager's hands, who he says posted the video after being fired last month. I had to let him go. He made some bad hires. Because of him being fired, now he wants to try to take down my business. In fact, Kornicke fired everyone in the video for, quote, different reasons like tardiness and no-shows. Alfaro says an ex-employee reached out to her months ago about this video, but didn't think anything of it. I was contacted, I guess back in July or so, by somebody who claimed to have worked there and said they had a video of my cat being hurt and they were going to send it to the news station, but I never heard any more of it. Until today. If he was so concerned, he would have called the police. This would have been handled seven months ago when it happened. The Charleston County Sheriff's Office confirms there is no police report regarding the incident. When I picked him up, the employees said they were all great, they were wonderful, they did, they were fine. I was never told that one of my cats had scratched or bit anybody. Alfaro says that was her first and last time going to Carolina Grooming. I will never use that business again. When I asked Kornicke if he has a message for Alfaro, he got choked up. Please forgive us. Please forgive me. I, I should have never stepped away. This is... This is on me. I should have never gave control of my business to anybody. And now it looks like I might not have a business. Kornicke says he's hired an entire new staff. Alfaro says she doesn't think she'll press charges. I'm Deanne Roberts reporting in studio. Count on two.